And we're back here on the morning bell. I am Mario J. Bell. He is the pose. As always. And we have uh, with us Tony Passarella. Hi, Tony. Hello there. He is our producer slash booking agent. And then we have the stars of the show today. We've been promoting this, and we're really happy to welcome on the band Guar, the Barbaric Interplanetary Warriors. Guar with us today. How are you? Uh, terrible as usual, you know, just out here working and working and slaving away just so management can get paid. Nice. That's, that's what you do when you come down here from, uh, uh, where are you guys originally from? What, uh, what planet? I never really knew what that, where you come from. Uh, various planets across the galaxy, you know, so like I'm from planet crust, uh, beefcake the mighty is from planet cholesterol. You know, nobody really hails originally from planet Earth except for maybe uh, sleazy Pete Martini. Uh, but that's, yeah, we're from all over the place. But I don't, you know, we, we're we on the tour bus for long periods of time. But I tell you what, we do not bore each other with stories about our homelands and home worlds and things like that. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So we, would, we don't need to worry about it. We just know that you're legendary here. And, and you just need uh, to know where I'm from. Yeah. Where I'm from. Coming from a place of hate and evil. Nice. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. I love it. Uh, you know, I haven't had a chance to see you guys yet live, but uh, my girlfriend, who at the time had another boyfriend, actually, they proposed at your show, and I guess you sprayed all over them, and that inspired them to get together. So that was pretty cool. I wanted to throw that in, and, and thank you for that, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I should be pleased or angered by that, but, you know, <laughs> as, long as, as long as somebody's happy about it yes and i want to know what the uh, what when you spray into the audience what what does that do to us are we are we now like your uh forever worshiping uh servants or what what does that do to us it's not supposed to kill us is it what does it do to you i mean well you've been experiencing it since last march so ah, ah <laughs> very good we're part of the pandemic i see boy that's uh that's a little scary maybe, maybe i'm okay that i just listened to your albums and don't see you live then okay it's kind of okay, but I mean, it didn't work very well. It's not as effective as we wanted it to be. I think we got the math wrong. We wanted it to be 99% lethal, not 1%. So, <laughs> right, you got you guys got the formula backwards. You didn't you didn't understand the Earth, uh, some of the technology from Earth, apparently. But that's okay. That's okay. It still uh, it still shut us down for a while, didn't it? O o over a year. Yeah, it's just that we were really hoping to kill middle-aged people and not just like grandmas and grandpas. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, I, I know a lot of people that, uh, that had symptoms of it, but are still with us and still listening to you, by the way. So, and, and you do have a new uh, album out, right? Or it's actually uh, a release of, uh, it's a disc set, right? An uh, actual vinyl. And then obviously you can download it. Well, yeah, we did. Uh, we had a power outage a while back, and that's why we recorded an acoustic record. And you know, we couldn't for some reason the mixing console stayed on, but nothing else worked. So our electric guitarist didn't work. So we made a an album with wooden guitars, which that was the first time for that. And that's, I think, that's the first time any uh, human or any any bands made a, an acoustic album before. So we're pioneers. Yeah, especially I love the pictures that, that uh, with the logo and how you reference that. That it's all like, uh, yeah, no, te not a lot of technology and involved. Speaking of the show historian, I you're right. I can't think of any other acoustic albums. Nope, there's not a single one. I wouldn't even attempt to look. You know, just know that Guar was the first, and just accept that at face value. But you know. It, I would go and pick it up. It's really cool, you know, as far as it's something that Guar has never done, you know. So I think that's kind of neat in itself. Uh, yeah, it was just uh, the tinnitus makes it really hard to jam at full volumes nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that kind of that would interrupt things. I, I have that sometimes, you know. If, just if the music is uh, whatever, something happens and it triggers it, and it's like you go a little bit insane for a minute. But th that that helps with the music writing, I think, and the lyrics. So it was fun. I mean, we did a rendition of F this place that you know nobody's really ever heard before, and uh, just kind of took it in a whole new direction. And uh, you know, we probably would have done a little bit more, but this was just kind of honestly, it was just 
just to try something different, you know, just to kill some time, um, you know, fleece our fans, that sort of thing. I was going to say, we want to hear from Barr as much as possible. That's that's absolutely true. And, and new stuff would be great. Uh, and, and also you had a, a event going on where you're raising money uh, and it went to a charity that was uh, that was related to they get that. What do they win with that? Let's talk about that a little bit. Oh, uh, one of our staff had uh, we had had a pair of odorous hands that were molded by odorous himself as an attempt to, uh, you know, I guess. Can you say masturbate on the air? Sure, you can say sure. it. he wanted to pleasure himself with his own hands. So <laughs> that's why I created a mold of them. And uh, we auctioned those off to charity. And uh, I guess. I can't remember what the charity was off the top of my head because it was something to do with getting off of drugs and I'm on a lot of drugs, but I would say this, that, you know, people have asked, well, Guar, what's your number one weakness? And I would say, obviously it's heroin, but you know, we're impervious to other things, bullets, crack cocaine, stuff like that. But sometimes the heroin gets you. Yeah, that, 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 that's a brutal one. That's for sure. A lot of humans get destroyed by that really easy and, and addicted to it for a long time, actually. So I can I can see that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, one. it's funny when it happens to you guys, but it's not funny when it happens to us. Sure. No, absolutely. We want you guys to be around forever. Uh, <laughs> just hardly forever, though, honestly. Do what's that? Do you at, at, well, at least in human terms, you guys are going to be around forever, right? Well, forever being the next three years until I quit. Ah, okay. No, I mean, physically though, you, you, you guys live on, you, you can, you have some powers from these other planets that keep you going. So Guar is nah, not really. No, not anymore. No, not anymore. I mean, Guar might go on for a thousand years, but I sure as hell won't. Okay. I thought every one of you guys get to, yeah, have like a, a, a never ending, uh, uh, existence, but it's still, that's okay. We will, we'll stretch the music on to our, our, uh, forebears for you. So that'll be good. No, it's going to be legendary. Far. It's going to be legendary when I go, I'm going to, I'm going to pull the wheel of the bus and go over a ravine, take the whole band out with me. It'll be awesome. <laughs> we'll get, you'll get a lot of publicity out of that. Sell some I'll, live, too, I'll live stream it. So everybody knows exactly what happened. Wow, that would be interesting. I'd, I'd like to. Uh, I don't want to wish that on because I want you guys to keep going and recording. But uh, I'll definitely, uh, you know, talk about that event for you. So that'll live on in infamy as well. Sweet. So, uh, but that's that's the thing that I want to make sure we talked about is the new music that you're doing, and uh, that you know you're going to be out there. I guess when things allow for it, there'll be some more appearances of of Guar at these uh, you know places where we can enjoy you the big arenas the outdoor things too trying trying you know i mean we've uh and I, th this is probably true for every band out there you know we're all booking tours and we're just not announcing them because they're getting canceled before they even get close so i mean you know we had a tour uh we had a tour booked the spring of 2020 you know that we had to cancel for all the covid stuff i mean we were actually leaving that weekend where the first round of shutdowns really started to happen uh in march and you know so we had a tour lined up that fall of course got canceled we had something lined up a couple gigs this spring of course that got canceled um and honestly probably not even supposed to say this but yeah we got a tour booked this fall you know probably gonna cancel that one too i don't know i have no idea what's gonna happen you know we're not even gonna and now it's too premature to announce it yet because I don't know what the future holds for that. And quite frankly, nobody does. So, I mean, it's kind of a, a crapshoot for everyone involved, at least anyone playing music, because the venues don't know. Uh, the bands don't know. You know, it's it's almost like <laughs> unless you're in Texas or Florida, you're having a hard time putting on concerts right now. Mm -hmm. So there's really not a whole lot we can do about that other than just uh, – keep our fingers crossed i guess I, I hope to travel to florida i got a lot of family down there anyway and see you guys then in florida hopefully soon and if not maybe texas i've been a while since i've been down there uh it's, but that's it's cool. almost comical i mean like you you probably don't see a lot of press on it but dude i know the guys i know out in texas they've been they've played every weekend like they're not 
it's not shut down. You know, like the rail club is doing shows. You know, whether or not you humans want to frown upon that or not, that's really none of my concern. But it just pointed out that it's happened. Yeah. Well, it, that, is kind of, it is kind of funny because it's not my problem. We're, <laughs> we're immune to the virus anyway. It's it's a master plan that uh, is against the musicians and, and Guar performing. But that's right. I was going to say, at least, you know, that you guys are, are good and, and you don't have to worry about having issues with it. So um, that's cool. You know, if anything happens to us, it'll be complications from AIDS. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I guess we did. It's funny. Uh, they talk about that in the news. It's like, well, that's still around. So how did that how did, were they able to figure out, you know, how to fix this one that's going on with the pandemic? You guys did a good job of, of messing with it because we still are trying to figure out if all these uh, vaccines are working. So and then, then uh, they don't even have any. Like vaccines. You know, you got to. Just inject large sums of money on it. You know, it, 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 there's no cure for anything that's not profitable. You know, just think if you cure the common cold, how many, how much cough medicine are you going to sell? None. So I would not argue one. Well, bit. what about computer viruses? Yeah. What's going on with those viruses? Did you guys have something to do with that too? <laughs> Maybe Stuxnet, but that's about it. <laughs> if you don't know what that is, that's that's a whole another level of you know government conspiracy and espionage. You can Google it. Oh, I, I've heard about it. Trust me. We we don't usually talk about it on the radio, but we we do we do observe. We we take inspiration from Guar and we look into stuff. So yeah, interesting topic for I guess another show. So we wanted to focus on what's what's happened with the band and the album and make sure we tell everybody where to find it. So okay, so where do we find it uh, right now if we want to go and buy your album today? Uh, well, sh- stuff lately. Well, so Guar has undergone uh, a major change, you know. So, I mean, as far as the business goes and and record labels and stuff, we're we're running, we're releasing all of our own stuff. Basically, we're trying to buy back as many masters as we can. You know, we own a lot of them already. So, supporting the band now is a really good time, just because it's it's coming from us. You know, not only are you getting uh, products made, designed, and created by the band, but you're also getting all of our product mistakes as well. You know, all of our typos. You know that it didn't come from just an intern at a record label. It came from us being intoxicated and trying to use Photoshop. So <laughs> okay. good. So we go, to, we go to the website guar.net and we can order right there then. Yeah, you can order pretty much anything that we've got available. Uh, I know some of the stuff, like the disc with no name, the acoustic EP that just came out, you know, those are in some limited uh, numbers. You know, if there's, um, you know, and we started the label with kind of the intention of just putting out the Scum Dogs box set, which is like the 30th anniversary release that um, has been out for a while. And because we, we tried to do a box set before, and the people we were working with were not very interested in it. They didn't like our ideas. They didn't like the cost of it. So we we own that one. So we really didn't need permission. So we just, we did it ourselves. We did it exactly the way we wanted to. Um, we got the coolness factor, all the stuff that's in it. It's like we finally got to design and do it the way we wanted to do it. And then, you know, it was kind of funny, like, to have a, a, a meeting with a label and then just, for them to say, wow, you know, we, we should do a box set together. It's like knowing that ours is coming out in like a few weeks. I don't know. It's just, oh. I've got a, the, I've only been in the band since 2012. I came up in the era of, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't see the need for a record label. So you'll never really see me outspokenly and going and supporting any of them, you know, other than the fact that, I don't think it's necessary. I don't think you need another company to help profit off of uh, someone else's hard work. You, you would like a fellow fan then. The owner of our station is very much into that, uh, being very independent. It, he does not have a, a lot. He does a lot of bands that are local that come on the show. Obviously, we play your stuff too, of course, but we like that. We like the bands that are more um willing to be direct, you know, get fans interacting with them directly and not having a lot of people in between a lot of the political stuff in the entertainment industry. So we're yeah. all I mean, you know, labels labels have their their purpose and you know, because obviously you can't you can't just pick up a guitar 
and no <laughs> music marketing and radio play and press and having press age like there's no sure. real handbook to guide you through all that that being said um you know there is a need for someone to fill that that gap but at the same time it's not worth the lion's share of the art and that's what that's what happens that's what's going to happen to you you know if you surrender all that stuff you're never going to get it back and then you know oh man we can go on a whole long tirade of this and I'm tired of going up to, you know, having meetings with people and them telling you your publishing is, isn't worth anything, but then they don't want to give it to you. You know, it's just like, oh, but it's only, you're only going to get like a hundred bucks a year. Don't even worry about it. It's like, huh? well, if it's not a big deal. Why can't I just have it? You know, mm-hmm. why can't I, I bet. I'm, I wonder if Sting told Andy Summers that it's no big deal that I keep the publishing for every breath you take. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> probably not yeah interesting i'm i'm glad to, to hear that you guys are are willing to you know let the fans go dire- you're having a direct interaction then uh, with us you know that's great i like that better you're right to get started i think that's where the the labels are involved the and our guys all that all the lawyers but at your level being around and being legendary from the other planets and everything i think i think it's cool that we just go to guar.net and we get stuff right from you Thank you. We would appreciate all the support and I'll take the money all the way to my dealer. All right. Awesome. Single too. What was that, Tony? The new single. Yes, definitely go look it for the new single, of course. Well, yeah. thank you very much, Pustlers, for being on with us. We really appreciate you taking the time and, and letting the humans talk with you. Absolutely. And uh, so everybody definitely, as we just said, go to www.gwar.net and take a look at all the stuff going on with Guar right now. And that would be probably the best place. I mean, obviously you're on all over the place, YouTube and, and some of the other music platforms, but let's go right to the source, everybody. So thanks again for taking time with us. And uh, we will definitely be listening to the new, uh, the new stuff for, from you. Absolutely. Thank you. You have a great day and and enjoy your planetary travels. Interplanetary. I will will (laughs) attempt. (laughs) Take care now. All right, Pustulus, please do not exit yet. Yes, yes. We'd like to do a couple of little. The interview is over, but we would like to do those. Hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, you want to leave it? We have to record these. What are you doing? It's going live on. It's okay. It always does. All right. right, so this is still part, this is still being seen, so everything, or being heard, I should say. No uh, problem. If you don't mind, we would like to have you do a liner for the Morning Bell on Rebel Radio. Yeah. Uh, uh, and basically what we're, the only two things to remember, everything else is your own imagination. Yes, this is Postulus Maximus, oh. and you are listening to the Morning Bell in Guy's moving his hands around, telling me to stop. No, yeah, no, well, sorry. He, you know I, what? Uh, I didn't know you were going right away. Okay, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> he he was right. talking right when he, okay. I'm stopping. We don't want to overlap. So. Shh, I'm done. Okay, go ahead. This is Pustulus Maximus, and you're listening to Rebel Radio. This is Pustulus Maximus of Guar, and this is the morning bell on Rebel Radio. Awesome. All right. Can we do another one just for the station, which is? Sure. Uh, it's the hardest station in the nation, Rebel Radio. This is Pustulus Maximus on the hardest station in the nation, Rebel Radio. Beautiful. I can live with that. You're the boss, man. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you coming on. And this will be heard on live on the air. We repeat them on occasion, but it'll be live on the radio, on Rebel Radio and rebelradio.com next Friday. Uh, we're on from 7 to 9 Central. About 6.30 we get started, but 7 to 9 is the official time, and we will probably air at around 8 a.m. Central, so 9 Eastern next Friday. Right. Today. Thanks again, man. Thank Appreciate you, your time. All yeah, right. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your uh, relaxing. We'll see you on the road. All right, cool. I think